folks, welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Origins Game Fair. This is the summer preview. You're watching the Dice Tower. My name is Sam, and I'm here with Clay Ross from Capstone Games. Hey, nice man. to meet you, and uh, nice to have you here. You're showing off Lignum, yep. which is, he just told me, I'm not this smart. Um, <laughs> he just told me that is Latin for wood. Yes. So this is the Lumberjack game. Yeah. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. Yes. <laughs> if you've had a fascination with being a lumberjack, <laughs> boom, we got you covered. This is it. All right. So show yeah. us what it's all about. Yeah. So it, it's more of a medium heavy to a heavy style game. Mm -hmm. um, you own a sawmill and this can play up to four players. So this is your little sawmill here. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to be traveling along this supply path on your way to the forest to cut down wood. Um, you're going to cut it down, you need to ship it over to your sawmill, then you can cut it up, you can dry your wood, you can sell it, um, you can store it for winter, mm -hmm. you can do a lot of stuff with it. Right. And there's different types of wood to get as well. Right. So okay. It, it's, it's pretty intricate. But it's really nice because you got this nice little stroll down the supply path picking up little resources like some saws, I want to get a raft, maybe I want to hire some guys along the way and do certain things. So. You can almost see the lumberjacks walking down the path with their beards and their <laughs> the axe over the, yeah, axe over the, the hey, yeah, that type of thing. All right, cool. Yeah. So you're going to play over two years. Um, the first three seasons play the same. Winter's different. It's really cold out. Nobody really wants to go outside and chop down some trees. <laughs> so winter's real quick. All right. Um, but winter, you have to have a certain amount of food and wood that you've stored up okay. to heat yourself and feed yourself. And these cards will tell you, there's a ton of them in the game, but um, for example, this one, you need six food and five wood for the okay. win. Okay, so all right. It's, it's a pretty, it's, it's a tough task to hit, but yeah. okay. you gotta do what you gotta do. So, uh, but yeah, you're gonna travel along this path, and as you go, um, you can stop anywhere you want, and you get, in this case, I'd get a dollar in my pile. Okay. You can never go backwards. You always right. have to go Forwards. forward. Okay. So, one of the most, um, Let's just talk. So these guys, they cut down the wood at the forest. Uh -huh. and these represent the wood that's available. Okay. So let's say you had two of these guys, mm -hmm. and before you start this journey, you're going to pick which area of the six areas do you want to go cut some wood. Okay. So I'd, let's say I pick this one right here. Uh huh. So I know I'm going there. I know there's three pieces of wood available. Right. So I'm, I'm going to plan for that along this path. So okay. let's pretend I got two workers or whatever to cut down. These are wood cutters, so they'll cut wood. What they do is when we go, after you're done with the supply path, you actually start this whole phase okay. of cutting, transporting it, sawing it, selling it, and all that. So when you cut, you spend your brown workers that you've hired, okay. and you can cut as many wood as, as you discarded. So I'll, let's, I'll take these two. Okay. Unfortunately, it does not go to your sawmill. Okay. It just goes in a giant pile of wood. It's, it's got to be driven a, down the river. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's a method of transport, yeah. So but now you can't go backwards, but... So let's say I also had... Uh, these are bearers. These are the big dudes that carry the wood from the wood pile to your sawmill. Okay. And there's three different ways they can do it. You can do a river. You can use a wagon if you've got... If you've managed to get this equipment. Okay. Um, or you can do the old-fashioned way and you spend a bearer and he'll take over one piece of wood. So they're just hefting it. Oh yeah, it's a long <laughs> haul too, man. <laughs> okay. Um, so once it gets to your sawmill, you gotta determine, okay, do I want to sell this piece of wood or do I wanna saw it and cut it up into little smaller sticks okay. that are worth more money? Okay, cool. Um, once you determine that, it's locked in. No take backsies. <laughs> <laughs> so let's pretend we're gonna saw this up. Well, let's let's pretend we're doing this type of wood, okay? Okay. So later on the path, you'd manage to get a sawyer, and he has a he needs a saw to cut it up too. That's what they're called. They're called sawyers. Sawyers. Yes. So, okay. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Hey, it's educational. There you go. <laughs> so, and this is going along the phase track too. So we we have finished this, and I'm just kind of demonstrating where you go to get. Understood. This where do you get those different guys? Yeah. yeah, I understand. So during the sawing phase, you can spend a gray guy and one saw. If you had more combinations, then you could do more pieces of wood. But it's a one for one deal. So this guy can cut one piece of wood, and you look at this table here, depending on what wood you gotcha. have. So, so that will give you four. Yeah. So let's pretend this is four 
Yeah. But whatever. Right. So after it's solved, you've got to determine, do I want to put this in firewood storage? Because remember, for the winter, winter yeah. you need some. Or do I need to sell it because I'm short on money? Okay. Money's very tight in this game. Right. So let's pretend we, we need some money, so we're going to sell it. Do you have to do the whole batch, or can you split it up? No, I can split it up. Like okay, that. cool. So then this guy would be used, the saw would go away, and he goes away. Okay. And then so then we progress. You can fulfill some contracts along the way, and that gives you some in-game scoring. Okay. It, we haven't even talked about in-game. In-game is no, all about fine. money. Yeah. Whoever has the most money wins. Is the winner. Yes. Okay. So these give you more money by fulfilling contracts. Um, after you sell, whatever you don't sell in this area, this is your selling area, is going to dry. You're going to dry it. Mm -hmm. And as you dry it, it gets its value is increased. In this case, it's a value of plus one for the okay. sale and plus, plus two, two for the sale. All right. And your, your, your dollars that you get for the types of wood you have are right here. Right there so. on, your, on the board. Okay. Yep. So it looks like you got, uh, what, two years? Two um, years to do this. Two years to, so that's going to amount to... What, five, eight rounds? Eight rounds, but these winter ones are real fast. Yeah. Um, you're not going around there. You're just like, you do yeah. one action, and then you then you pay your, your goods. Correct. So it's, so it's, it's really six rounds with yeah. a couple extra yeah. in-between rounds yeah. there. So there's two things to the left that I want to just mention. Um, you ha Everybody has a, a worker of their color. Uh -huh. This is like a wild, and he's available every single, every oh. single uh, uh, round or season. So he, he can, can be, do whatever, yes. but you have to choose. Yes. So it's the way it's laid out is like, as you're going down this path, you get to the bears. These guys are going to transport wood from your wood pile to your sawmill, but you haven't even cut wood yet. So you're like, <laughs> so you have to, it's all this like planning for making sure everything's in the row. Right. The planning is then enhanced by one space. And this is what's cool about this game. You as the player determine how complex this game is. Okay. So. You can skip any space you want on here, right? This plan work section here is the crux of the game. It is so beautiful how it works. There's gonna be a certain amount of these cards available to you. And what you're gonna do is, let's pretend it's spring on the first year. And uh, let's say I wanna to plan to do this super awesome bonus one, two, or, th or three seasons from now. Okay. So I'm gonna do this bonus action two seasons from now. So I put my two down, and two seasons from the spring is fall. So now when we get to fall, I'll know, oh yeah, I can do this awesome thing. Okay. And this card specifically is, going back to that saw year plus saw, uh -huh. now he can cut two pieces of wood at oh, the same time. okay, that's cool. So you can build up and do these super awesome combos. All right, so about how long is this? Two hours. Two hours altogether. Yeah. It's pretty heavy, pretty involved though. Yes. Uh, I mean, it does have, Heavy Cardboard's endorsement. Yeah. yeah so. They pretty much know what they're talking about as far as heavy games are concerned. So yeah. um, you go on their recommendation. So oh, when is this going to be available? I actually have to go to Dayton to pick it up at the warehouse to bring it back to the show for tomorrow. All right. But uh, we're doing pre-orders next week, and uh, we're, we're going to ship it out to everybody in the United States for free. Okay. Um, it's a $70 price tag. Um, it will be available at retailers probably the end of July. Okay. So if you want it, there's only a two-week window for pre-orders, and All right. it's starting next week. All right, so, so that is Lignum from Capstone Games. Yep. And you've got one other one that you wanted to show us real quick, and yeah. that is oh, the this. Climbers. Yeah, just slide yeah, that forward. Just real quick. So the Climbers is part of our new line, Simply Complex. Simply Complex. Yes. Hmm, I see what you did there. <laughs> so this is very very prototype form here. This is not okay. anywhere near production quality. All right, all right. But essentially what this is, is it's a big mound of blocks. And Simple. Yeah, it's yeah, very complex. It, but complex. <laughs> so. Um, ladders, I see ladders. Yeah, the ladders are the fun part. <laughs> so you're gonna have all these blocks uh, on the table in a big pile, like a structure, okay? Uh -huh. So there's a couple is different that built sizes. built before the game begins, basically? Yes. Okay. So you're gonna pick a color and I'll be teal. I'll be red. So you're gonna get red, and then you get a blocking stone. Uh -huh. Everybody gets a ladder. You get a short ladder. Hey, why do I get a short ladder? And a long ladder. Oh! <laughs> Bonus time. Yes. So there's your long ladder. These okay. are awesome, by the way. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, so everybody, that's your starting pieces. And again, remember this is gonna be all of these huge. wooden pieces stacked up. So It's gonna be huge. 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 <laughs> so what, what your guy can do, or what you're supposed to do is, 
climb up to the highest level possible, then when everybody passes, whoever's at the highest is the winner. Okay. So all you, what you do is you can climb up, you can pick one block on your turn, any block you want that doesn't have a piece on it already, mm -hmm. orient it any way you want, and just make sure you gotta put it back inside the structure somehow. Okay. So I've done that, and I climb up there. All right. You can only touch the surface that matches your color uh -huh. or the neutral surface. Okay. okay. So to climb larger distances, you would need a long ladder. And once you use your ladder, oops, pretend this is whatever. Sure. Let's say it's a legal move. Your, ladders, <laughs> your ladder goes away. Okay. Um, and if you so need these to, are one-time use? Yeah, they're one-time okay. use. Okay. And the blocking stone is, okay, uh, now the blocking, let's say I was down here. The blocking stone, nobody can move this block until it comes back to my turn or even step oh, on it. Oh, so. okay. So you could use... Now, does the ladder have to reach above like that? Yes. Okay. So the ladder could not do that. Okay. You'd have to use your long ladder for to that To get one. that. Yes. Okay, so it has to go above yes. the, the threshold. Yeah. Your guy right. can climb up. If he can see over the edge, he can climb up <laughs> without use. Okay. So, he can yeah. reach up. All right. What was the in-game condition again? Whoever's the highest uh -huh. when everybody passes. Because there's going to be a point when, when you everybody can't, You can't move because yeah. you can't stand on that space or what yeah. have you. And so you're like, ah, I'll move a block, but I can't move up. So that's considered a pass. Neat. So Neat. All right. So that yeah. is the climbers yep. from the new Simply Complex line from Capstone Games. All right. Yep. Well, thanks so much thanks, for stopping man. by. I appreciate, we appreciate it, man. It, man. Yep. And we're going to send... Uh, we're going to send Clay over to the Q&A table in just a few moments, so stay tuned. Thanks, everybody. How you doing? It's Rob here with Clay from Capstone Games. Welcome, my friend. How doing, How's Rob? it going, my brother? Good, man. All right, we got a couple questions for you real quick. How big will the final product be for uh, Lycum? Lignum? Lignum, excuse How me. How big will it be? Yeah, is, is that the actual size it's going to be? Yeah, that's the production quality. Okay, so that's the final art yeah. and everything like that? Absolutely. Um, will do you have expansions in the work for it? For Lignum? Yeah. If it sells well, uh, let me drop the. Ah, uh, man, these guys ask questions. Well, <laughs> they're, hey, not afraid. That's, they're not afraid of nothing. <laughs> um, Lignum, I would like to do a five player map. A five player right now, map? There's. It's only built for four players, um, so we want to. That have was the question. Player. Is it one to four, two to four? It's two to four. Two to four. Um, and it's double sided because we included an expansion. And that's a that's a game with a path around it. It has mm -hmm. a certain amount of locations. So we added two locations, and the only way that we really wanted to do it was by printing a brand new map. So we put it on the other side. Gotcha. So for five players, um, we'd have to do a new map to accommodate five pieces moving around that board. So. Gotcha. It would be nice, but we'll look at it. So All right. No guarantees. And. Uh, will this hit Europe as well as the United States? Yes, it will be throughout Europe. Awesome. And let me see if I missed anything it else. It should be in Europe um, probably in July as well. Um, this will hit retailers in uh, the end of July. Oh, perfect. At about the same and, time. And what was the price point again? Price point for Lignum is $70. $70? Yes. $70. I don't know what that is in Europe, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Just my, multiply by 0.88 or something. <laughs> or point, what they also wanted to know was what is the difference uh, between the first edition? Oh my gosh. That lots of that's things? That's a big question. Because, yeah. Um, the card quality is linen finish. You'll mm -hmm. notice the, the original had flimsy paper cards. Mm -hmm. um, we updated the artwork a lot, um, okay. made it consistent and flow naturally. We added the expansion, um, an extra player board, uh, more wooden pieces, more cards, changed some of the... The meeples in the original were, were not Carcassonne meeples. Okay. off-brand style. So we put Carcassonne-style meeples in there, the one that you're familiar with. So um, that's off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, the other big thing is the original had three modes of play. Mm -hmm. So we just put in... Um, one mode of play with everything thrown in there the way it was originally intended to be played. Okay. All right. Looks like we got it all. Yeah. You did it. I, you hey, made I it survived. through. I survived. You survived. survived. Day. I mean, how good is that? I can go sleep now. Clay <laughs> from Capstone Games. Make sure you check out his game in August, correct? Yes. And don't forget the climbers as well. Yes, that's hey, coming out. Hey, we've got some more things going on and we're going to send it over there.